So after the back loop only single crochet row, I continued by placing one single crochet in every stitch, um, a regular one, not a back loop only one, until my side was about 11 inches. It's actually 11 and a half um, inches long. So now we are going to finish the back or the last row of the body before we start adding um, like the flap and the straps. And on this row, we're actually going to place one half double crochet in every loop. And then there's also a little special thing we're going to do for, for the flap, sorry. Actually, let's do that right away. So the flap is going to be on the outside. And this row we're putting right here is going to cinch the top. So whenever you want to shut it, it can cinch close. So we're going to place half of one side. So I have 48 inches or 48 stitches in my whole top and then half of that is 24 and then half of that is 12. So in 12 stitches, we're going to go into the back loop only of the half double crochets. And this might make more sense whenever we add the flap because the flap will be added to this strand. We'll go work the opposite way. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. 10, 11, and 12. And we don't want to do the whole 24, which would be half, because whenever you cinch it, the top is going to be a lot smaller than how it is spread out. So go ahead and place one half double crochet and the rest of the stitches going through both um, back and front, not just back loop, and I'll meet you back here. So I got to my end here, I placed um, this 12 in the back loop and then the rest were regular. And I am actually now done with the backpack, so I'm going to show you how I finish it. I'm just going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to join the round. This is going to make sure that it's nice and flush at the top and there's no like weird uneven edge. And then I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to cut a 6 inch six or seven inch tail and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through and now we can start working on the flap the straps and the handle to work the flap we're going to go into the front loop of the half double crochet stitches that we worked into the back loop and we're gonna work the flap in single crochet so I put a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to insert it into the first stitch yarn over and pull through and just treat that like a normal single crochet. So I'm going to work into the front loop of the next 12 or the rest of these 12 stitches. And if your yarn is a different size and a different hook size, this is going to be a different number. Again, it was just 50% of half of the top or of the total number of stitches in each round. So I guess 25% of the stitches in each round um, and I and the flap is worked back and forth it's not worked in the round we're just going to be working 12 across and then 12 back and I'll show you here it might be a little tricky this is not something that I th think you would do normally in a normal project uh, too often you know I don't but it's a really creative way to add the flap so I have all 12 single crochets in the front loops of the previous uh, row we just worked. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to just keep working in this fashion. I'm going to put right next to the turning chain the first hole. I'm going to work one single crochet and I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch. So the turning chain does not count as a stitch.
So I'm going to show you one more row and then I'm going to finish the flap off camera and I'm just going to work it to my desired length and then I'll let you know how long it ended up being. The first one might be, or the last one of the second row might be a little tricky because that's the first one that you worked into. So we're going to chain one, flip our work again, go into that very first hole right next to the turning chain and then after that we're just going to work one single crochet in every hole. I'm guessing this will be about six inches which is like pretty much half of the height of the backpack but I don't want to make any promises yet because I'm not sure. Alright, so I'm going to finish up the flap off camera after this last stitch, so I'll meet you back here and I'll let you know how long it was. So I finished my flap and it ended up being about six and a half inches, so I was kind of close to my initial estimate, and it, that was also 14 rows. I also went ahead and did the first strap just to see how I would do it, and it ended up being 28 inches long and 49 rows. So now I'm going to show you how to do the strap. You're going to start with the flap closest to you and then the rest of the backpack on the bottom. And you're gonna place a slip or a slip knot on your hook. And for this one, I'm going sh straight to the middle. So count from the flap, it should be six inches in, straight in the middle, and then I went down. And on the right two, I put this strap. And so on the left two of the middle, I'm going to place the other strap. And how I place it is I go into a single crochet bar so it's not an actual stitch it's actually a bar in between the two and I'm gonna uh, create a single crochet and then I'm gonna go into one more bar and create another single crochet and so to do the rest of the strap it's fairly easy you're just going to complete this row plus 47 more rows for a total of 48 and I'll show you how to connect at the end But I'll go ahead and show you a row or two So you're gonna actually have to turn your entire backpack to work The rows and it can get really twisty since you're working like a lot of rows and you have a backpack to deal with so Just keep it going. I actually picked up too much here. Gonna chain one, turn my work. I'll show you one more row and then I'll hop off camera. If these straps are gonna be too long for you, you can adjust it, take off <clears throat> a row or two, or you can add a row or two. It's all up to you. Um, I'm making this for my friend, as I said before, so if she finds this too long, she can even just knot it like this and pull up a knot in that fashion, but I'm gonna go ahead and step off and I'll finish this until it is 48 rows. So my strap is currently 48 rows long, um, and I'm gonna show you how you would connect it to the body of the backpack. To do this, I just roughly folded the base in half and picked a center point, and the center point is right by the back loop single crochet that we had done on the base. So, let me. So for me, it'll be approximately these two bars and they are right after this back loop single crochet round. So that's how you know how low to place them. Um, and to connect, I'm going to go into my last stitch and then in to one of the bars. And then I'm going to pull it through and create a single crochet. And then I'm just going to repeat that. And create a single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then cut a tail. And then pull it through and that'll be how you do one strap. And then you can watch this section of the video again to complete the other strap. 
now that we're done with the straps, we're going to go ahead and complete the backpack with these last two steps. The first is to create just a chain that's about 50 inches long and weave it into the half double crochets. You can count out to be in the very middle, but I'm just going to go in approximately. And to do this, you're going to just go over one and under one and over one and under one. And so I'm going to hop off camera and finish my weaving just so I don't bore you guys. And then I'll show you how it cinches the top when I'm back. So I weaved it all through the half double crochets and then to cinch the top, you just pull it like so. So it's really the most basic way to do this. And then you can either tie a knot down here um, to secure it and you can make your chain shorter also. I didn't realize how long that would be. And now we're gonna secure the flap. To secure the front flap, I have a 13 inch chain and I am just going to go in the middle of my flap and under one of the single crochet bars, not like go in one stitch under the bar and out the other. I'm just going to pull it this to the middle. And now, and make sure you do this whenever the top of your bag is cinched. Now I can see how far down my flap comes naturally. I am going to take about a two inch chain on my hook and somewhere one to two inches lower than this I'm going to go in between a single crochet bar so I'm going to go in and out right here I'm going to single crochet this here and then I am going to fold this in half to make a circle and so now you have a loop and I'm going to chain one cut a tail pull this through and so now you have a super basic way to secure the flap I would just go like this and maybe one on the other side too or you don't have to and then tie a loose knot And with that, your backpack is complete. All you have to do now is tuck in the ends and then you're all finished.